Hi, my name is Luis. I am a student at the University of Central Florida studying computer science. And today for this presentation for my technical writing class, we will be discussing two different technologies called Adobe Spark and VisMe. So what exactly are these technologies? To start off, Adobe created Cloud Express, which was formerly known as Adobe Spark, is a web and mobile design app. With this application, we can design tons of different types of visual content, including social media posts, logos, printables, web pages, and infographics. With VisMe, it is also an online tool used to create, store, and share visual content. With VisMe, you can also create different types of visual media, including presentations, infographics, charts and graphs, printables, videos, GIFs, as well as many other types of media. So accessibility. First, I wanna say that anyone can sign up for a free account on both platforms. With Adobe Spark, they provide different video tutorials, blogs, and it's a mobile app. VisMe, on the other hand, has more educational resources than Adobe Spark. VisMe provides video tutorials, graphic design videos, eBooks, live webinars, as well as free online courses for consumers to educate themselves on how to properly use their technology. So how do these technologies exactly work? Here I have pulled up the main user interface for VisMe. As you can see on the image, VisMe is a template-based software, meaning that they provide tons of different templates and layouts for users to pick and choose from according to the type of visual media that they want to create. You can create presentations, infographics, documents, charts, graphs, printables, as well as any, as well as a lot of other types of content. Similarly, with Adobe Spark, they provide tons of different templates to pick and choose from, or you can pick and choose one and customize it to your liking. So if we break down the main components of VisMe, this is the main design board for the VisMe application. As you can see on the left-hand side of the page, there's a main categories toolbar that you can choose different types of graphical elements and sections to edit. When you click on those categories, it'll bring up a sub elements page with even more specific elements that you can pick and choose and play around with. And on the main screen, you can see here that we are creating a flyer and to the right of the flyer, there is a mini toolbar here. You can add blocks, move layers, delete, anything to do with layers you can do in that section. And on the top right corner, there is another toolbar that's used to share your creations as, as well as collaborate with others and present your project. With Adobe Spark, it's a very similar layout actually with the categories toolbar also on the left-hand side of the page with a corresponding sub elements page that pops up with each section. In the main section of the page, we also have the art that we are looking at and under it, there is a smaller toolbar that's used to zoom in and out of your art. To the right side of the page, there is a design toolbar here. You can mess around with different types of colors, animations, backgrounds, anything to do with design and the visual aspects of this art, you handle in that, sec in that section. And on the top right section of the page, there is also a toolbar that you can use to share and download your project. So in terms of pricing, let's start off with Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark has two packages being the free and the premium package. With the free package, you have access to thousands of different templates and design assets, but you also have limited access to Adobe Stock Photos. And with both of these packages, I wanna make it clear that you can create art on both web and mobile devices. With the free package, you have up to two gigabytes of storage. And now moving on to the premium, which costs about $10 a month, it also comes with a 30 day free trial in case you wanna cancel at any time, you're welcome to do so. With the premium package, you have access to a lot more features than in the free one. You have access to Adobe's entire collection of stock photos, as well as all of their templates and any other cool features are included in this package. And it gives you up to hundred gigabytes of storage. With VisMe, they have their packages set up in a slightly different manner. They break them up into four separate components, being the basic, personal, business, and enterprise. For the purposes of us as college students, we will focus more on the basic and personal with 
business enterprise, those are more suitable for larger corporations and businesses. With the basic package, it provides you with basic stuff that you might need, including 100 megabytes of storage, as well as basic templates and design assets. With the personal package, it costs $25 a month. In here, it gives you up to 250 megabytes of storage, as well as full access to their templates and has a 24 seven email and chat support. With the business package, which costs $50 a month, you have up to three gigabytes of storage and has a lot more options in terms of downloading your artwork. And with both business and enterprise, it's important to note that you have a lot more advanced features when it comes to the privacy and security of your work. With the enterprise one specifically, these are more suitable for medium to large corporations. They have a lot more options when it comes to security as well as personalized training and onboarding services. With the enterprise package, you have up to 25 gigabytes of storage. So what are the trade-offs between both applications? So to start off with Visme, they have a lot more variety in terms of the different types of packages that you can buy. However, if you did notice, Visme has a lot less storage available for its consumers than Adobe Spark, which ranges from 100 to 25, 100 megabytes to 25 gigabytes. However, with Visme, they have a lot more educational resources to help consumers know how to use their software. They have different types of video tutorials as well as live webinars and online courses that one can use as reference. They also provide a 24 seven email chat support. And in my opinion, Visme is a lot more team oriented than Spark as, as such, it's more suitable for professional businesses and larger corporations. Okay, so moving on to Spark, Spark has more storage available for its consumers, which ranges from two gigabytes to 100 gigabytes. And Spark is a lot more individual oriented. I find it more suitable for freelance artists as opposed to team businesses or team projects. Additionally, Spark, in my opinion, has better accessibility than Visme because it has availability for both web and mobile devices. Also, Spark is significantly more cheaper than Visme. So why is this relevant to us as students? First, I wanna stress the importance of effective visual communication in the workplace. For us as college students, learning how, learning how to communicate effective visually is probably one of the most important skills that we can learn while we're in college. Being able to take an idea and demonstrate it in a visual manner is key because it allows you to avoid any type of misunderstanding between you and your audience. But not only in a professional setting, both applications are very good if you wanna use them for any type of academic assignment or project, any type of visual content you might wanna create, whether that be a PowerPoint, infographic, anything that you can really do to bump up the visual appeal of your presentations, either one of these applications are suitable for that. So I wanna finish this by saying thanks for listening. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the applications.